Hello and welcome to the phasing tutorial for dubstep video. Why do you need a sidechain tutorial in the big year of 2020 whatever? Because. So I will show you the only way to sidechain. And if you don't follow this method, you are a bad producer. Here's the dubstep with the sidechain. Wasn't that a cool Disciple NSD dubstep gutter type beat? Anyway, so for the sidechain, I have three fruity balances that I'm using to sidechain. Most things are routed to one sidechain bus, but the sub and symbols have their own sidechain. But what about making the sidechain curve itself, you ask? Instead of going the basic curve like this, do it like this. Hold left alt and click and drag the thing to the bottom left so there's silence. And then make a, a double curve instead of a linear line. Since this curve is kind of complex, it's a little bit annoying to like make it shorter or longer. If you double click the automation clip, you can go to pitch and mess with the speed. And this will make the automation clip longer or shorter. If you set the pitch to 12, it doubles the speed and 24 is quadruple. I think it's because like 12 is like uh, 12 semitones and 12 semitones is an octave in music theory, but I don't know anything about music theory. I just make dubstep. I don't know about music theory. Anyway, that was the normal sidechain. We still have two other ones. For the cymbal and hi-hat sidechain, the curve is shorter and the volume doesn't go all the way down. This is to maintain the groove of the song. For the most part, you can get away with stacking a kick or a snare transient on a hi-hat transient and it still sounds fine. And the last one is the sub sidechain. What's good about having a separate sidechain for the sub is that you can match it up with the kick's waveform and make sure you're not clashing with the sub of the kick. Normally people use Shaperbox for this because you can split the lows and the mids, but I'll show you why I don't use Shaperbox later. Also make your volume automation go from 0 to 100 real quick. Otherwise sometimes when you click around and solo stuff it'll be muted. Also, you may be wondering or not, there's a lot of automation clips. I wish I could make a song without copying and pasting them all the time. Guess what? You can't. Um, so go make a new clip and then um, make a click here and uh, shorten the clip. And you click and you go bit bop, bam bop, bow. And then uh, you can just use the, the uh, pattern as the side chain. Isn't that cool? Say yes. Anyway, for my next tip and or trick, let's look at Fruity Balance. What's great about this plugin is that it's annoying, because when you make an automation clip, 80% is by default 0 dB. But for this tip, we're going to make 100 on the automation thing 0 dB. Okay, so go to Link to Controller. Find the link and do minus 0.2. Now when you drag it to 100, it's 0 dB. This can be pretty interesting for buildups. When you have the classic EDM dance music buildup, where the kick starts out slow and then it gets faster as it goes along, you don't want the sidechain to be fully engaged. So we're going to make it start out at 100% and then slowly go down to zero. So go to the channel rack and find the sidechain automation. When the mid knob is at 0%, the sidechain works. And then as you go up, it starts working less and less. So we'll just make an automation clip where it starts fully engaged and then over time it just doesn't work. Also to prevent any issues with plugin delay compensation, make sure that in the mixer it's set to automatic and compensate automations. For example, I'm using a plugin called Soothe and it has a lot of latency and you can hear how it messes up the sidechain. For this example, I'm using Shaperbox, and even though I have automatic and compensate automations on, the sidechain is still weirdly delayed. It really messes up the flow of the song, and you can tell it's pretty bad in the buildup too. When you sidechain with third-party plugins, like Shaperbox or LFO tool, it's not going to compensate properly even with automatic and compensate automations on. The same thing happens with Fruity Balance if you don't have those two options on. 
Another way to sidechain that you probably shouldn't use is the Mixer Vader. Yeah, so here's the problem. The top waveform is a render using the Mixer Fader, and the bottom is using Fruity Balance. You can see that the top waveform isn't even sidechaining properly. There's a volume on the kick and the snare, and this is called smoothing, and there's no way to turn that off. So don't sidechain with the Mixer Fader. Also, I shouldn't even have to say this at this point, but don't sidechain with the compressor for dubstep kicks and snares. Compressors don't silence sounds, they just make them quieter, so you're missing out on headroom. So that's why I think Fruity Balance on multiple channels is the perfect way to sidechain, because it has all the benefits of third-party plugins, but it's free and it works better with latency compensation. But yeah, that's about it for the video. If you liked it, drop a like, comment what you want me to do next, and subscribe for more content like this. Catch you guys next time.